Hey guys, welcome to this new video. I couldn't resist and I have bought a new camera I'm really excited for. In this video I will unbox this camera in the first part. And in the second we have a George's photo walk with my Leica M3 in a beautiful German town. The camera you're about to see I wanted for a really long time now and recently another YouTuber bought the same. So I was influenced I would say and bought the same in an auction. Before I reveal too much about it, let's unbox it. Okay, here's the box freshly delivered. Let's have a look inside. Seems like the previous owner likes Noki and bought 6 kg of it. Okay. Sorry guys, no big knife for the unboxing, only a little box cutter. And inside is a really 90s camera bag. I bought it from eBay and this wasn't in the description, but I take it. And yet the most exciting part, a camera in bubble wrap. What is it? It's a Olympus OM2. In pretty good condition, I must say. I sold my Pentax ME some time ago, but I wanted again a little small SLR camera. And the Olympus OM2 fits the bill perfectly. The first thing I do after I inspect the camera is to remove the really disgusting camera straps from these cameras. Ugh. At first I thought this camera won't work, but it just needed some new LR34 batteries. Okay, I think that's enough for a first impression. As I said before, I bought this camera for 110 euros in an auction. It was in good condition, but untested. So it was a risk, but it luckily worked. But there was some, I don't know, fungus around the seals and under the hot shoe. Maybe it's some chemical change in the rubber? I don't know, i show you the pictures. I always wanted the OM1, but... Man, the prices. So I switched to the OM2 instead, which is electronical, yes, but it has aperture priority and a manual mode, which is everything I need. The fantastic street photographer and YouTuber, Doris Robin, recently bought an OM2 on one of his trips, and this sparked my interest in the OM2 again. <laughs> I think I will tell you more about this camera in a final review. I will sometime make, I don't know. If you don't want to miss this, then please subscribe. And if you are interested in some sample shots, here they are. The camera has the the camera has the biggest viewfinder of all SLRs and mirrorless bodies I have ever had in my hands and it's really a joy to use. The only camera which can beat this viewfinder is the Leica M3. And with this camera we are going now on a photo walk. So let's go! We arrived at our parking spot and oh boy it was pretty warm this day. And here you can see Jena's architectural crown jewel right away, the Yen Tower. Jena is well known for their high-tech glass industry and one of the business location of one of your favorite camera brands, Zeiss. But enough of the talk, let's start shooting. I really like the light in this tree alley. And if you see some black and white images like this, they are from my wife. She caught someone hanging police sign on a building. We were pretty confused, but we later found out it's for a movie production. Jena is definitely not the greatest town I've ever been, but it has its moments. As example, I really like this old flower shop there. And sometimes you find some impressive timbered houses. M3 and 35mm lens, yeah I know it's a weird combination, but it works. At least this giant dick building has advantage, you always know where you are. I said it before and I say it again, if you give Kota God enough light, this film stock can give you the most creamy colors ever. 
and if you really like black and white, I can recommend my preset. Oh, I really like this bookstore, but my picture is suboptimal. I had to stand in the middle of the street to get this shot. We are getting closer to the highlight of this video. Can't wait to show you the pictures. We are now in the party and restaurant street of Vienna. And I never seen such an overgrown house before. Bars and diners all over the place. The people here seem to really enjoy their drinks. Looks almost like another country. And I also have some interesting interiors. And oh boy, I really like this blue store. For some reason this looks pretty British to me. And I really like how Kodak Gold renders the blue. And my wife took some shots how I captured the scene. And always present, the tower. And for some reason I really like this kebab store. And later we found this absolutely weird rooftop garden. Never seen such a thing before. And yeah, here a shot of my silly face. The light was good and we took some more sneaky street shots. I really love the light in this tunnel. After a little walk we arrived at Jena's biggest shopping mall. And the light was perfect. Old folks had a pretty good time with the Prosecco balloon. At this point we got pretty hungry and we of course looked for a pizza place. And this is the best shop from my wife this day. Look at this little heavy dog. We settled for a pizza place where they made the best pizza I have ever tasted, period. The roll is full, let's head home. Yeah, video is over I guess. If you liked it, then please like, share and subscribe. If you have questions, then do it in the comments down below. Until next time, take care. Bye.